this video we're going to be looking at a summary of the break-even analysis. Now I like to explain that using the ice cream um, example. So when you are selling ice creams, the question is when will you make a profit? How many ice creams must you sell until you can start making a profit? Now let's go through the example. Let's say um, you, your income, which means if you sell ice creams, will be 20 rand per ice cream. Okay, so that's 20 rand for one ice cream. And we also call this your selling price or your sell price. Okay, now you're also working with expenses in your business. So you have to pay, maybe you're renting a, a little car here, as you can see, a little ice cream cart, and it costs you 500 rand per month. We call that a fixed expense, by the way. That's just an extra. Okay, so that's a fixed expense. And then you want to make a cone, and we say, um, for now, let's say the cone is five rand, and then the ice cream on top with the little cherry, let's say that part costs you 10 rand. So altogether now, making this ice cream is 15 rand, and we call this your cost price cost you 15 rand and you are selling it for 20 rand so you can make 5 rand profit on one ice cream all right now let's look at this table here so the question is when you're working with break-even analysis how many ice creams do I have to sell before I can make a profit so we need the amount and that's what I'm going to put here in the first um, row and then secondly your expenses and finally, your income. So those are the three things you have to look. Now it's easy for, let's say, um, when we have zero ice creams. Our expenses will just be that 500 rand that it costs us to rent the ice cream cart. But we haven't sold anything, we haven't made anything yet, so it's just 500 rand. Income though, also for if we haven't sold anything, we'll get zero rand in. All right. Now it comes to one. Let's say I now sell one ice cream. Now the expenses is that 500 rand for the cart plus it costs you 15 rand to make one. So 15 times one um, ice cream. In total that gives you 515 rand. So then your income, if you sell one ice cream, you get 20 rand in because that's the price for one ice cream and it's only one, so it's 20 rand. Okay, let's move on. Let's say now, let's get a bigger number. This month I sold 25 ice creams. Now I had to rent the car, that's my expense. You always start with that fixed expense, that's 500 rand. Plus it cost me 15 rand to make um, 25 ice creams. So I put in there 25. And in total that gives me 875 rand okay so that's my expenses then if I sell 25 ice creams it cost me 20 rand for one and I sell 25 so that gives me 500 rand now note that I had 875 rands worth of expenses that's what I had to pay and all I got in was 500 rand so at this stage I am now operating at a loss I have to sell a lot more to make a profit right so let me just put some numbers in here let's guess a bit let's say I sell 40 ice creams this month and my expenses will be 1100 rand if you work it out and you'll get 800 rand in and then let's go to 75 ice creams your expenses will be 1625 rand and you will get 1,400 in. Okay, let's take a guess for when we sell 100 ice creams. Let's say we now sell 100 ice creams. If I then go and work out the expenses, it's 2,000 rand. And the income is also 2,000 rand. So something is happening here. At this point where my expenses are equal to my income or the income equal to the expenses because you see both are 2000 rand that is the break even point okay this is what we've been looking for this whole time why anything after that any amount of ice creams that you sell after that let's say you sell 150 ice creams 200 any amount after that you will now if your expenses is 2750 and your income will be 3000 
your income will be more and you will make what we say a profit so anything more than that you are making a profit so a break even point is very important for businesses so that they can see when they're going to start making money how long is it going to take is it profitable if it's not profitable maybe they should ask more for an ice cream more than 20 rand okay now the next thing is you can be asked to sometimes draw a graph now here at the bottom on the x-axis i'm going to say this is my number of ice creams then my amount in rands and here i have the income i'm going to use yellow and expenses i'm going to represent that with red what I need to do is get a scale going. I start with zero there. Let's look at the amount, the rands. If you look at the amount of rands here, it's like 500s, 800s, 1000s, 1400s, 2000s. So I'm thinking I want to make my scale um, something to do with 200s. And if I do 200s, I see I'm going to have to go up to at least 2000. So that's 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200. 400, 1, 600, 1, 800, 2, 000, 2, 200. And let's go up until maybe 2,400. Okay, so more or less, that's the kind of scale you'd be having. And then for the number of ice creams, let me go back and look. You could count in tens for the scale. Okay, and you need to go more than um, 100. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 50, 10. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and maybe 150. So more or less, this is a scale, it's not very rough. Okay, now let's start with the income line. So we're going to do the yellow line. Now let's get a few points going. On the income, when I sold zero, um, sorry, when I sold zero ice creams, I made zero rand, right? So there's a point, zero, zero. Then let's say maybe when I sold um, 100 ice creams, I made 2,000 rand. I've got 2,000 rand in, so let's go to 100. So there's the point 100 and the point 2,000. So what you do is you just make little dots there. Okay, you don't have to go look at every point. Because we're clever now, we will just connect the points with a ruler. And there you have it, there's your straight line. Okay, so now, let me just do, move this a little, okay, now let's do the red expenses one, so I go and I get a few um, points here, when I sold zero ice creams, I still had that ice cream cart expense of 500 rand, that's a fixed one, so I have to start at zero on the number of ice creams, but at 500 um, it's around about the on the amounts okay so that's a point then maybe when I sold and let's get another point when I sold 100 ice creams my expenses were 2,000 okay so let's get that point going 100 ice creams also there by 2,000 so that's another point we know that they are equal at that point in any case get your ruler and connect the points Okay. So what happened here was, at this point where they are both equal, we saw that it is now your break-even point. Okay, so this is the point where you've broken even in your business. Okay. Then everything before that, you see the red line was on top of the expenses, so everything before that is a loss. All of this before then your business had a lot were running at it was running at a loss everything after that is where you now see the yellow line is on top so you make a profit all right okay that's very important to know and then this is the end of our video so remember to share like subscribe and become part of the whiteboard sa team